Hi guys, this is Bishop from Valorous Gamers. Today I'm going to be showing you some post-patch gameplay following the Liberator nerf, which also includes some infrared night vision thermal optic tweaks for aircraft weapons. Now from past experiences with Sony, tweaks normally mean nerfs, which made me curious to see what they actually did. So I fired up the game as soon as the service came up on my NT character C1, see how the patch played out. It seems they reduced the effective range of the infrared night vision again, giving a fog-like appearance similar to using firmware at longer ranges. Previously, if you were targeting a Sundra just inside of its render range, it would not show up on infrared night vision. But once you got close to the Sundra in infrared night vision, the Sundra would go from invisible to fully yellow. Post patch, they've added a distance gradient when the Sundra would go from fully invisible to slightly yellow to suddenly yellow as you got closer, therefore reducing the range of infrared night vision. So how does this affect you when flying? The truth is, it really doesn't. You're still going to unload rockets on the infantry and tanks well inside the range of infrared night vision and it doesn't affect dogfighting in any way. The only thing it does have an effect, however, is taking out vehicles from far away with rotary or rockets. This includes Sundarers covered by bursts and harassing Skyguards and stationary turrets where you need the distance to stay alive. Well, on the plus side, Sony said they fixed the render distance issue for Maxis whilst in aircraft. I don't know about you, but there's been so many times I'm flying to attack an enemy Sundarer, slow down, and before I can load a single rocket, about five dual bursts maxes just rendered in front of me. So at that point you just think to yourself, well, do I attack them or do I just get the hell out of here? And before you can even do anything, you just get blown to pieces. Unfortunately, this scenario is still going to be an issue. I'm not sure if it's a bug or a feature, but currently when looking at them with infrared night vision, you can only see their arms, which make them, makes them almost invisible. Now to counter this, you're probably going to have to spam Q all the time to find them A maxes, or you just have to toggle night vision on and off, like I do, just to sort of try and find them. Now I still haven't tested out the Liberator chains yet, but I'm going to leave you with the rest of my footage of me flying Reva. Um, otherwise, thank you for watching and hope you enjoy the tips. Airborne target identified. Generator compromised.
under a spot. Lightning tank spotted. 